before I, I move forward to talk more about your reign, uh, I just want to ask, what was the story behind the change of the gown? Because you had a different prelims gown and then you wore the white gown in the final. So why, what was the, the decision? How did you come up with the decision to wear the white gown for the finals? As, aside from the fact that you probably, I, th I think one of the reasons is because you probably, you might fall again on that old gown that you wore in the preliminaries. You really struggled on that one, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm trying to find a picture. Nobody has seen this right now. This is my quarantine time. <laughs> That one, yeah. I try it to see if I still fit here. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't really, I don't know how I walk in that dress. It was heavy, was it? It's 18 kilos. Oh, uh, what is it, like 40 pounds? 35 pounds? Kilos, yeah. Mariam wore a 19 kilo gown. Horrible. And um, I remember what happened is a lot of people think or believe that, oh, she didn't like the dress or she, no. The thing is when I came, when I left, when I arrived to Moscow, uh, my weight was 58 kilos. By the time that the final night, I lost almost four kilos, almost eight pounds. Mm -hmm. So the dress was so heavy. Mm -hmm. that the structure that was holding here on the like the corset of the dress it was like super tight so I can keep the 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 dress didn't fall so when I tried for the prelims it was so loose that the dress is supposed to be here and it fall so it was even longer and when I walk I was like it was too heavy it was so uncomfortable for me to walk and I say to the team, to the Miss Venezuela team that I was there in Moscow, listen, you want the dress to shine or you want me to shine? Because the dress have a lot of sparkles. It is made for the scenario and it's impeccable. It's beautiful. I love the dress. But I, this time I need to pick or it's a dress or it's me. And I remember that they told me uh, a Miss Venezuela, Venezuela, you always carry a dress. The dress never carried the Miss Venezuela. Something like that in English. And I was like, I can't. So at this time, the dress is literally like falling. So we made, uh, I made, and I, we, after uh, as a team, made the decision to switch it. And it was like, you know, if you feel comfortable, if you think that it's going to be a better performance for you and you're going to feel free, because one of my strengths was the runway and being in the runway and not able to shine and like present myself as I want, mm -hmm. it was not an option for me. I, I work really hard to, to enjoy the 30 seconds that I have on the, on, the, on, the, on the screen. As you know, I write all the, the, the seconds and the, uh, the yes. scenarios. So that's true, that's true. I was like, nobody's gonna take me this. So we make the decision to switch the dress and I think it was the most wise and the most uh, the most perfect decision at the time. Yeah. yeah. I have to be very honest, I prefer the final gown than the preliminaries. The preliminary oh, gown is beautiful, I know, but when I saw you struggling with that dress, I think it's the same story with Miss Great Britain as well. I think she also struggled with her preliminary um Gown, so. that she also decided to go back to the red one that she wore during the photo shoot so yeah we were also hoping that miss philippines was going to change her yellow ground but she didn't <laughs> <laughs> but that's a different story uh, <laughs> but i think changing of evening gowns have been i don't know was it a trend because irene also changed her gown during the finals she was wearing a black gown in the preliminary and then she changed into the green gown in the in the finals so it's not something new no i think it's uh, it depends of the strategy of the team behind the national directors but most of the time depends on the contestant i think we realize that it is our moment and it's not about the dress it's about mm -hmm. ourselves so we make we, we have to be like rude and say, listen, this is what I 
feel comfortable. This is what I want. And I think it depends a lot of the contesting in the beauty pageant uh, title holder to be honest with, with herself and make, you know, the better decision. That was a really beautiful gown in the finals, uh, Molly. I really I loved love it. it. Perfect. You have you have long arms and it's just perfect. You know, not so many women could actually wear that beautifully and elegantly in the same it way you did. Beautiful. That dress have a have an open skirt. And I remember like the day before traveling to Moscow, uh, we say to the designer Alejandro Fajardo, like, can you close this? Because it would look more elegant. So we literally packed the dress the day that I was flying to Moscow. And it didn't, it's super light. It's not, not even five kilos. So for me, it was the heaven. It's I was like floating <laughs> in my dress. Yeah, true. I agree. Yeah, you have a very iconic walk as well. You, I think you are, you're, it's your, here in Japan, whenever there are girls who are aspiring to become beauty queens, I always use your video. Oh. As, a, as a sample because it's just the way you move your 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 arms you know mm -hmm. which is i don't know like maybe it's genetic <laughs> maybe it's just no, that was, it's that your was, nature it's just so beautiful thank you but it was i have the the runway since i was, I was a girl hmm. but the training that i had with grace fontecha we work a lot on my shoulders and the way that I move my arms because it's something that allows you to show, to show a personality that is more feminine, mm -hmm. more, I don't know, more glamorous, more soft. And that was learned. That's a movement that you actually can teach to your, to your girls. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just really, um, really the, be the best videos and uh, samples that I could okay. gather on, on the internet. And then I always show it to, to everyone I know, like, this is, this is how you're supposed to walk, you know? Thank <laughs> you. The arms, you know? <laughs> My mom always ran to, to see me on the, on the runway back, but you know, fashion weeks, people don't like 32 years old women walking sometimes, but no worries. No. We're still happy. No, mentira. Still happy. <laughs> you still have it. <laughs>